Hey guys, this video is for our kindergarten and first grade team for March week one. It's a new month and we have a new life app and our life app for this month is forgiveness, deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Our new memory verse for this month is Colossians 3.13 and it says, put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Here you go. So our story for this week, week one, is about the unmerciful servant from the book of Matthew. And our bottom line is forgive others because God forgives you. So just to go into a little bit more depth about what the story is over this week, it says, we start the month with one of Jesus' parables recorded in the book of Matthew. Jesus told this parable because Peter asked a question about forgiveness. Peter might have thought that he was doing pretty well to say that he'd forgive someone seven times, but Jesus raises the stakes and said that we ought to forgive others even more. He said 77 times, and really it's not about the number, but Jesus shows what this means with the parable about a servant who has shown incredible forgiveness, yet he doesn't do the same in return. So our bottom line, forgive others because God forgives you. God's love for us is huge, and that love drives God to forgive us when we do something wrong. God can help us forgive people in our life. And when we realize how much God has forgiven us, we can turn around and forgive people who might hurt us. And this might be difficult, but God can give us the help that we need to show others love and forgiveness. So that gives us a little bit more in depth about our story this week about the unmerciful servant. Um, we would love for you to join us at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room. It really is a great time to just get your mind in the right place for serving on Sunday mornings. Remind us why we're here um, to pray for each other and celebrate with each other and also coffee and donuts, but definitely worth your time to get here 10 minutes early um, to do that. Then just make sure that you're in your small group area by 830 and 1030 so that you've got everything ready to go. When kids start to roll in, make sure that you greet them by name and ask about their week. Help first time guests to feel welcome. Um, and then after they've settled in, we've got some pipe cleaners for you to give the kids. Well, I'm trying to get Lola situated here. There you go. Um, and with the pipe cleaners, they can create their family, friends, neighbors, or friends from church. And if you have enough time, you could create a whole small group out of pipe cleaners. So they can try to make like a little person out of the pipe cleaners. Um, we have that many pipe cleaners, so it's a lot of pipe cleaners. They can make some people. Um, and again, if they're just playing games, they don't have to do that. It's totally fine. Um, then your intro activity at 9 and 11 is called Mother May I Borrow. And what you are going to need is a little baggie. It has a bunch of different coins that say 1, 2, and 3 on it in your cart. So you're going to divide the kids into three groups and have them sit facing each other on either side of the room or your small group space. And then you're going to divide your coins between the three teams and pick a team to go first. During their turn, one team says to another team, they can pick whichever team they want, Mother, may I borrow a one? And they insert the coin amount and the color that they need based on whatever coins they already have. So may I borrow one silver coin? Well, each time a match is made, kids are going to put their coins face down in front of them, and those coins are now out of play. And the goal is for each team to match as many coins as they can. So keep going until one team has no coins without matches left, and the team with the most matches is the winner. And then you're going to play, so it's basically just like Go Fish in a sense. Um, so you're going to say, wow, that was a fun game. You guys are so good at matching up all the coins. Well, we're going to head to large group to hear a story from the Bible about someone who borrowed from a king and couldn't quite give it back. So then you'll head down to large group. We do have a live host and storyteller today to bring us our story about the unmerciful servant. When you get back from large group, your intro activity is called Create a Crown. So what kids are going to do is you've got this activity page that looks like a crown. They can color it in. Um, they will get a yellow border strip, so you can glue or staple their crown on here and then make this fit their head. Staple it however big you need to fit their head. And then we've also got a bunch of jewel stickers that I'm sure Joellen will have wonderfully organized on your cart for them to decorate their crown with as well. So, let them decorate. While they're decorating, you're just going to use the paragraphs below to lead them in some conversation about what it means to forgive someone. And when they're done coloring, you can staple the crown together to fit on their head. So you're just going to say, guys, when someone does something wrong to us or something we don't like, what do we usually want to do? A lot of times we want to get back at them or do the same thing back or be mad. But that's not what God wants us to do, is it? 
What God wants, what does God want us to do instead? He wants us to forgive them. Well, just like the king forgave the servant, we can forgive others. And when you take your crown home, I want you to put it somewhere where you'll see it every day and let it be a reminder of how the king forgave. And God forgives us and we can forgive each other. So just remember, forgive others because God forgives you. Okay. There you go. So then for your memory verse activity... Um, you are going to need these little pages. They look like this. They have sentences from the memory verse on them. And it says, first you're going to look up the memory verse using the tips below and read it together twice as a group. So help your kids to kind of practice it. Tell them the words. Then you're going to teach the group the motions that they have down below and do that a few times. And then you're going to split your group into three teams. And you're going to assign each team a different part of the verse. And you're going to review the verse in order, pointing to each group when it's their turn, and then see if they can complete the verse in motions without your pointing. So um, for put, they're going to hold their left hand up like you're holding up a platter. And then up, you're going to hold your right hand up like you're holding onto a platter. With one another, you're going to point quickly to your friends around you. So put up with one another. And then forgive, you're going to open your hands like you're reading a book one another point to your friends again if you're holding someone against if you're holding something against someone cross your left arm over your right arm to form an x like you're holding on to something forgive you're going to open your hands like a book again just as the lord point up to the sky forgave you point to each other colossians 3 1 so just practicing that splitting your kids into first group second group third group to practice those three sentences and then you'll close it down by saying, wow, before you know it, you guys will have this whole verse memorized. And this verse will help us to remember that God wants us to forgive others because God forgives you. Then for your prayer, kids just need their crowns that they made earlier. And you're going to ask the kids to sit in a circle with their crowns on their heads and quickly give kids a few different situations where forgiveness is needed and prompt them to respond with forgive others because God forgives you. So when a friend borrows a pencil and doesn't give it back, forgive others because God forgives you. And then there's a couple more that you can practice that with. And you'll just close it down by saying, so guys, what will your crown help you to remember this week? Yeah, it will help you to remember that you're supposed to forgive others. Okay, it's daddy. We'll call him right back. Okay, there you go. So let's pray and thank God for his forgiveness every day. And then just close down our prayer. As adults come, send kids home with their crowns. Encourage kids to tell their parents about what the crown is supposed to remind them of. And, okay, hold on. Make sure they all go home with a new memory verse card and a parent cue this week as well. So thank all of you who came to the safety meeting this week. I thought that it was great. I thought it's such important information that we all need to have. So thank you guys for coming, and thank you all so much for serving. I am just so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for um, just making this a priority and using your time and talent and energy to serve here at Oak Bridge. So thanks so much, and we'll see you on Sunday.